everyone and welcome to this week six of McFay's Critique and we're looking at five of your photos this week if you're ever looking um, our Lightroom folder this week we've got a cityscape, a landscape, a riverscape, another landscape and an aeroplane so a nice bit of variety for this week so let's kick off with this uh, it looks like Clifford's Tower over in York and it looks like a HDR um, some really nice lines down this side here from the shadows nice nice thought there um, and you've got a nice lead line going in from this um, double yellow lines and a good bit of grey there um, the tower itself yeah a tricky one because the, the, the lights on this thing are so incredibly bright that it does tend to burn out pretty quick so you've you've kind of lost it a little bit there. Um, let's have a little zoom in. Yeah, yeah, you can you can see um, it's completely whited out at that point there, and there's lots of blockiness going on there. So it's, it is a tricky one to get right. This actually, so probably when you're shooting your HDR, if you can, if you can check your brightest, uh, well the dark, sorry, the dark picture, um, check to see that it's not burning out. On the highlights that will help you avoid this so when you take your three shots check the dark one if it's still burning out on the highest bit I dial in some negative exposure compensation so you're bringing it down and try again until you're getting everything you can you know you're getting it so the bright bits aren't burning out so that'll avoid that yeah I think it's yeah look, looking at it it's uh, it's fairly well composed I'll probably lose a bit of the top if anything Let's have a little play with the crop because from this point upwards in this area here, there's not a lot going on. So I'd maybe get it down to there. So the third line's where the entrance is. Okay. Is it actually vertical? Let's just check. Just give it a little tweak over like that. Just. I'm, when the guidelines come up you can see I think it was just a bit off vertical so let's hit enter there right so we'll just do a before and after on that so if we go to the history so original cropped in so you can see getting rid of a bit of the sky and straightening it up improves it quite well um, so let's have a little look at the details so if we have a quick oh yeah so the texture in this road's gone a bit a bit haywire with the HDR hasn't it how's it looking in the mid ground yeah you can't really make out the steps so there's quite a few quality issues on the uh, on the HDR here I think just be you can see the speckliness going on around here the clock seems to have blown out a little bit um, got a bit of a halo on this side and around the top so if anything I would recommend going revisiting this and maybe throttling back a little bit on things like uh, local contrast which is causing all this this weird sort of effect in the stones um, and it looks like the steps have disappeared probably because of noise reduction and you're getting halos and things happening around these towers due to probably excess clarity um, or when maybe you've been dodging this um, grass here in Lightroom and you've gone over a little bit I'm, I'm not sure but um, let's just just a couple of tweaks just to show you what you could maybe do to hide these issues a little bit so if you take the exposure down or better still maybe Let's go and add a big net like that. Nice feather on it, and then make the whole shot a little bit brighter in the middle. It's too late for me to do anything with the highlights, but if you did reprocess this with the raw files, the original ones, you could maybe rescue the highlights if possible. I'm taking a bit of the clarity off I'm going to add some white just to bring the bright bits up so you can see 
slightly different look. So if we have a look at a before and after. Ah. <laughs> right, so that, the, the one on the left there, that's the one before the big net. The one on the right is the one after the big net. So you can see that. So I think the, the main sort of things here is just um, processing quality, really. The composition works nicely. There's some stuff going on down here, which is really nice, this fanning effect. It's just... You know, really be careful around these highlights, and I think you've been a bit enthusiastic with noise and um, things like clarity. Okay. So the next one, what have we got? Ah, right. So we've got a waterfall around the reservoir kind of thing. So um, yeah, I think I don't know exactly where this is. I think I was probably there on the workshop. Um, so let's have a little look in. So first thing I would say is uh, <laughs> what was going on up here with the colours? That's crazy. <laughs> it looks pretty good though. It looks like you've got a Martian landing at the top. But yeah, I know you get quite an orange glow from um, the motorway actually. The M62 is up there somewhere. So I can understand that. My feeling is this side here is probably a bit on the bright side. Um, so that could be toned down in a few ways. Maybe get a, a grad across like this. Come on, grad. Always a bit awkward to use these things. And just drag the exposure down a little bit. So it focuses the eye a little bit more into the uh, into the middle there. Um, what else would we do? Again, I think it's one of these where a vignette will possibly draw our eyes away from the bright edges remember we don't want people to be looking at the bright edges as much as the sort of main focal point here okay so that looks that looks a bit better um, I'm just trying to think what else I'd do it's not blowing me away it's, it's just a little bit uh, like you've pointed a torch in there and hope for the best um, whereas maybe if you could set the, the um, camera going and then walk to another position and shine the torch from another position rather than from directly behind the camera I think this is the light painting equivalent of on camera flash so if you're working in a pair maybe get the other person poised on your camera with the finger on the shutter and then you walk up to this point here where my mouse is and maybe shine the torch in and then you get a much more sort of 3d pattern imagine the tops of these steps all lit by your torch but these drops all in shadow it'd be much more dramatic okay so uh, the good news is we're doing a lot of um, night photography stuff and we're probably going to go and do stuff like this so if you want to learn a bit more about it now's your chance okay so the next one, what have we got here? The River Ooze in York. Ah, right. I know that because I photographed it from this bridge many times. I think it's Lendl Bridge, isn't it? So, wow, quite a, quite an impressive sky going on there. I'll just turn off the the burnt. Uh, you've got these warning things here in Lightroom. And if you uh, if you got too bright with anything, they go red. So there you go. <laughs> that's what that's what they're for. So you can see it's just burnt out on these little lamps here. See those red bits there. That's not a problem, really. It'd be pretty fussy if you if you found that an issue. So yeah, lovely scene. I mean, nice nice sharp trees, boats all pointing in the way. I do like this. That's that's a great nice bit of light on that boat there. Um, it's not it, it's just a sky isn't it um, I'm trying to think of something to hook me into the shot maybe if we um, make this boat more prominent here by cropping down quite heavily I know we're going to lose a bit of that lovely sky but it's too small as it is for a focal point but if we bring the, the whole shot down a little bit like that one, maybe we could make it a bit more of a focal point. 
Does that work? Let's have it. Should I see if this soft proofing actually does work. Uh, it never quite does what you want, does it? <laughs> so let's do a before and after this the, the, the hard way. So that's before. And then if we go back to after. Okay. So it's less of a sky shot and more of a city shot now. Um one thing you could do if you wanted was maybe make more of this foreground by uh, let's just add a bit of exposure in here just brighten the river up a little that sort of thing always you know just we've got a lovely sky but the, don't forget about the foreground I've added a bit of clarity there so if you just add a bit of noise reduction to smooth off any noise that's introduced there we go but yeah nice pleasant scene that one um, again I don't think it's a massively strong focal point but having photographed from this bridge many times I don't think there is one there so uh, let's just uh, let's just add a bit of it's a bit of a theme <laughs> tonight but it's just a little vignette uh, Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so drawing the eye towards the centre more, but um, yeah, I think it's a pretty good shot. Great, great sky. Yeah, best so far. Wow, what's this then? Um, interesting to have a nice square crop here. Um, looks like um, some dead trees. Um, and a bit of grass in the foreground. Uh, I don't know if there's a photo there, really. It's one of those um, what am I looking at kind of shots. I think the first thing is that if you can avoid getting stuff like this in the foreground, do. Um, if, even if it means doing a little bit of gardening. It's just, I don't think this kind of stuff adds to the shot, so I'd probably be getting my me, me foot down there and squashing it down if I could do. Um, but let's have a quick look in detail. Yeah, lots, lots of dead trees and a cloud. Um, hard to find a focal point, really. Uh, let's let's put a bit of a vignette on it. See if that makes any difference. So you can you can sort of draw draw in a little bit more. Um, interest by making the, the outsides a bit darker if that's your thing um, I'm just just tweaking the highlights and contrast here just to try and uh, maybe add a bit more vibrance so you could maybe make it a bit more dramatic that way if you were so inclined but um, let's just do a quick before and after just to show what the difference is um, I've gone a bit too far with the big net, but you get the idea there. Um, there you go. Um, yeah, it's one of those where it's it is pretty well balanced, but I'm I'm struggling struggling to find a focal point. Okay, so on to the next one. Oh wow. That is pretty special, isn't it? Is it CGI? <laughs> oh, it's it's only a small picture, so we can't. Can we zoom in any further? Um, see if we can get it fuller screen. Um, fit? Will that? No, it looks like that's as big as it's going to go. Well, I hope you can see it, but it, I mean, this is this is really good. Wow. It's uh, it's a Lancaster bomber. By the look of it. I wish I could zoom in more. Whoever's uploaded this, brilliant shot, but please upload a bit high res so we can see a bit more of them in future. But I mean, the, the, the lighting, this wonderful metallic effect here, and the, the gold rings on the edges just looks amazing. So, uh, really well done. I don't, I mean, if, if anything, um, if you could have maybe moved a little bit so it, it's all quite on the left hand side 
if you see what I mean. So it's its face is oh there you go. Put the crop tool on. Its its face is kind of on exiting there. So if you could have maybe moved a little bit or zoomed out. So let's just see what this does. I know I'm chopping the wing off here, but it's just to illustrate a point. So it doesn't look like it's running out of the shot when you do that, but um, but when you do that, it you know, there's a lot of wing and a lot of extra space over here. So um, just just on the crop, maybe think about yeah you know, when you're shooting, you know. Let's remember your rule of thirds and everything like that. Does I mean I I think this this portion of the plane looks better cropped like that than it does like that because you've got all this space um, so I've, I, that's that's the only thing I suggest I think the, the quality of this shot's amazing wow really well done okay so just the five this week so I, th I think there have been some really nice shots in there um, quick, quick whisk through them yeah like this one just a little bit of attention with your noise and HDR and clarity usage and you should get some really nice crisp steps and things like that out of it with this one just have a think about where you're going to use your torch from in future you know um, standing behind your camera and pointing it isn't as interesting as going somewhere else and pointing your torch so you get directional lighting Really nice lands uh, landscape cityscape type shot. Just I think cropping in give you a, a more defined focal point from this boat, so the wider crop didn't quite work as as well as you know as this crop would do. Struggle a bit with this one. It's quite a um, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's quite quite a spartan sort of shot actually let's just try and create a black and white conversion it might really suit a black and white so if I pop into here and go for the gritty number three see what that looks like I'll just switch off the black clip and the white clip and just up the shadows a little bit open those up so you can see that's quite a gritty look now I think that action has actually it's giving you a much more stark st startling image these things at the bottom here do worry me a little bit so if you went for a pretty savage sort of crop like that maybe it would help now i think you do need the full length of these uh, reflections so yeah just um, I, I wouldn't go to the trouble of Cloning out all the grass and stuff. I'd, I'd just go back with a scythe or a streamer. <laughs> and I think this week's star shot has to be this Lancaster bomber. Just wow, what a great shot. Okay, well, thanks for listening and watching. I uh, hope that has been helpful. Um, next week I'll be in Austria, so probably critiquing these on the Monday night rather than the Sunday. And the fortnight after. I'm probably not going to be able to do it, so it'll resume in November. The folders are there in Dropbox. If you want to be part of this, uh, it's an anonymous critique, so nobody knows who shots they are. I certainly don't know who they are. I could probably guess on a couple of them. <laughs> but um, the idea is you upload them, I look at them, give a few tips and thoughts, and hopefully we, we all learn from it. Excellent. If you want to get involved, just email training at mcfade.co.uk Thanks a lot. Cheers.